How are you booktube? My name is Maria and welcome to my channel MH Books. Unfortunately I am doing the sound over from the laptop yet again. I accidentally, well I didn't, I forgot because I haven't been out filming outside for such a long time that we can't film in wind if, unless you have a microphone. <laughs> you can't do it on the on a phone. Um, so this is my TBR um, for the Irish Read Irish Women um, 2021 challenge. This hashtag can be found on Twitter and Instagram. Um, it's a different challenge every day, and obviously from from the the name of it, it's to read more Irish authors who are identify as female. And we had to select our TBR based on the challenge today, is day seventeen. Um, and I decided to limit mine to books that reminded me of going to the beach because that was where I was going today. So we have in order of um, that I'm going to talk about them is Maggie O'Farrell's Instruction for a Heat Wave. You may know Maggie from Hamnet um, and her recent entry into the Women's Prize. Um, Kathleen McMahon's The Long Hot Summer also currently listed for a different novel in the Women's Prize and Doreen Finn's Night Swimming. Um, I actually met Doreen um, at a writing workshop in 2019, you know, when we were allowed to actually meet strangers. Interesting. Um, so starting off with Maggie O'Farrell's Instruction for a Heat Wave. This book is about the Reardon family. Um, the matriarch is Greta, who likes to bake soda bread, no matter what the weather. She's stuck in the 1976 um, heat wave in London. And her, you know, her day starts as normal. And then what, and she bakes bread for her husband, Robert. And Robert leaves to buy a newspaper and he never comes back. Um, this is a family drama um, listed as literary fiction. Um, um, and I think the family section is going to be quite common in these books, it's going to be as well as summer. Um, it's going to be a common theme. So the next book, which is coming up there on your screen, is also based in this heat wave of the summer of 1976, and that is Doreen Finn's Night Swimming. This time, it's not in London. We're in Dublin, and we're in a, a an apartment. Um, um. It wouldn't be a premise, it would be flats at the time in 1976, um, outside of, just outside of the Dublin city centre. And the family owned the house, I think, and they rent it to an American family. And the American family have a daughter called Beth and the Irish family a daughter called Megan. And Beth encourages Megan to go night swimming. Night swimming is more to do with um, things you shouldn't get up to at night rather than just um, swimming. Um, there's a mystery involved here in that um, we are not sure who the Irish girl Megan's father is. Now, The Long Hot Summer um, by Kathleen McMahon is slightly more contemporary and is also based on family. It has a little bit of LGBT um, drama and some romance, according to um, Goodreads. Again, these are TBR books, I haven't read them. Um, and it's narrated by each family member during the course of one summer. Um, it's this easy story to um, immerse yourself into. No gimmicks, no changing um, timelines, just strong writing and an interesting plot. Um, what a refreshing novelty. Over the course of a summer, we watch all these characters change as fate throws unexpected occurrences into their lives. So that was a quick synopsis from um, Diane, who is a friend of mine on Goodreads. So that's my TBR, lads. Um, I hope that whatever you're reading, that you're enjoying it. And until next time, um, have lovely weekends.